Where? In 10A. Why? Because then I can meet him. Okay, what's your name, buddy? Kyle Carrington. Yeah? Where do you work? Colton Power Sports. What are you doing here? Racing. Yeah? You, you a racer? I believe so. You believe so? Why you believe so? I feel it in here. Yeah, there you go. Is today your first race? Not today. It'll be tomorrow. Practice today. It's practice today. Tomorrow's your first race. So what's your job today? Learn the track. Feel the bike. Take it easy. Gain some knowledge. Work up the pace, you know. Don't start too fast. Start slow. Build it up. Sounds good. Sounds good. You got a nice looking bike there. I wonder who painted those number plates. I tell you what, looks like Quentin Wise painted those numbers, I tell you what. Alright guys, yeah, cycle for life here, jokes aside, my good buddy Kyle and I are here. We're both Coleman Power Sports employees, we're co-workers, we met at work, and uh, he found out I had been a road racer for a number of decades and was in the business and stuff, and he, he said, man, I want a road race, I want to do it so bad, and I said, well, come on then, let's go, what's stopping you? So, here we are, you excited? I am, very excited. Well, all right, he's going out for his last practice of the day. He has absolutely done a splendid job, a splendid job of, of doing what he's told and, and listening and taking his training and taking his coaching. I'm so proud of him. He, he's filled out his lines. He's figured out where his brake markers are. He's worked on he's worked on turning later and harder in a higher gear. And now I got him going out trying to do a little bit of brake mark testing seeing if he can move them a little bit if I can get him to turn a little later and a little harder we can move his markers down but he's doing so well and he hasn't slipped a single bit he hasn't run off track not once he hasn't had any mishaps or anything silly and he hasn't done anything that I told him not to do so he's really doing well I'm so proud of him Say hi to YouTube. Hey, what's happening out there? I heard the Social Security Administration called and said they were going to withhold your benefits if they you kept road racing past the age of 105. Yeah, man. Are you going to keep racing when you're 105? Yeah, I don't know. My wife has anything to say about it. <laughs> How old are you now, Arnie? I'll be 58 this spring. God bless you, brother. I'm jealous. I hope I, I hope I'm still walking when I'm 58. <laughs> Hey, Arnie's an old friend of mine. He's been in this game a long, long, long time, and he's fast as you know what. At 58 years old, he is out there railing, getting it done, making some contingency money, doing a good job. Been a good racer for a long time. Just goes to show, guys, you stop because you get old. You grow old because you stop. You keep going, your body will heal, and, and you'll stay active just keep going just, just don't stop just don't stop don't stop wear your helmet don't stop any last thoughts before you go to your first race ever do what I can do do my best do your best all right brother rubber side down I love you all right no pressure no expectations Let's get some points. Keep it up. You got five more races in the next two days. We need points in those classes as well. Okay, so yeah. think smart, make good decisions. Don't press nothing. If you're pacing the guy and you can take him, take him. But if it's a fight and a battle and a risk, let it go. Got it. Okay? All right. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I think I'm more nervous than he is right now. Oh my gosh. So nervous. He's doing so well. He's following all his training and all his instructions. He's obeying everything he's told. He's following all the rules. He's doing really, really well. He's riding really well.
Yeah, 310's not even circulating anymore. He's he's either down or broken. And Kyle's all the way up with the experts. Kyle's all the way up finishing with the experts. So he's uh, he definitely won that race fair and square. They can't take that one from him. Kyle, your first race win, buddy. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. You did good. YouTube, what's your name, honey? Nicole. Nicole, what'd you just do today? My very first race ever. Yeah? yeah good enough, I finished. Yeah, there you go. A finish <laughs> is a win. Yes. Good job, sweetheart. Good job. What, what's your number? 813. 813. Good work. We'll be looking for you. We're on the Cycle for Life channel. Thanks. This is the old Quentin Mize special right here. They made some changes to it. They put some, they put an upper and lower fairing on it. Still got the custom tail. They changed the exhaust. Looks like they put an upgraded front caliper on, and they custom machined a bracket to fit that fork. It looks real nice. But they kept the rotor and the wheels that I had. Yeah, it's uh, it's really a nice piece of equipment that they've done. They put some cartridge adjusters in the forks. But uh, yeah, this bike won 11 championships for me, and I don't know how many for Ray, so we'll see. Where'd old man Ray go at? catch these tires while they're still hot and fresh off the track this is absolutely what you want to see you got the boogers coming up on the edge with no tears what that means is the rubber is sheening off of the carcass of the tire it's working its way to the outside and it's making boogers that peel off and you're always exposed with fresh rubber and that's exactly what you want you don't want to get yourself in a situation where you have tears going across you see a lot of those and they got tears all over them when you're riding on those tears you're losing traction this is the most traction you're ever going to get out of a slick tire is when it looks just like that boogers on the edge and no tears in the tread so good job kyle another race win how to feel to run without r1 out there on an sv pretty good yeah? Yeah. He had some power on you in the straightaways, didn't he? Yeah, he was pulling away on the straights. So I'd catch him in the turns. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. I'll see you in a little bit.
our friend uh, Andrew Gold wins this one again like he did the last one. Let's see if that's number 230. Okay, Andrew's in second place for the experts. And Kyle has left all other amateurs behind and mixed himself up in with the experts again. <laughs> so, here we go. What's your name, young man? Kyle what you got there? A bunch of medals. Yeah? yeah. What, what place are they for? I think first place, they're all gold. How many of them you got? I got five here. Where are you at? Road. Yeah, what's the weekend? February 28th and March 1st. Yeah, CCS opener in 2020, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, what kind, what kind of bike did you ride? SB650. Yeah, what kind of tires did you use? Bridgestone. Yeah. So, so what do you think? Did, did you have a good weekend? Did you learn? Had a blast. Yeah? yeah? So where are we going next? Daytona. Daytona, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>